1903, in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, the Wright brothers launched their first flight of a heavier-than-air aircraft. This invention would quickly revolutionize the world. Audiences were amazed at the invention, from America to Europe. By the mid-20th century, air travel had connected the globe and made it into a smaller place. Jetliners carried passengers from all corners of the earth, allowing them and humanity to become closer. In the year 1914, the First World War began. Millions were drawn into this first truly global conflict, which lasted for four long years and left behind a war-torn Europe. A whole generation of men was destroyed and a continent left in ruin. My great-grandfather, James Best Stricker, attempted to enlist in the Ambulance Corps, but was turned down for medical reasons. He then moved west to Idaho, where he met my great-grandmother. All throughout the 1920s, the American economy boomed, seeing unparalleled economic growth. Unfortunately, the bubble had to burst, and did, in October 1929, Black Tuesday. In less than two hours, almost $10 billion worth of stock value simply disappeared. The Roaring Twenties were over, and the United States was in for a Great Depression. In the words of my great-grandmother, Emma Jean McMeans, we didn't know we were poor until everybody started living like us. Unemployment rose, and the country did not regain its economic footing until well into the Second World War. In 1939, Adolf Hitler, dictator of Germany, began a blitzkrieg invasion of Poland. The country was overrun in a month. Polish alliances forced Great Britain and France into a war with Germany, which they had previously sought to avoid, despite Hitler's advances into Czechoslovakia and the Rhineland. The Second World War had begun and would envelop Europe for the next seven years. Two years later, Japan, a military ally of Germany and Italy, launched a surprise air attack on Pearl Harbor. Finally, the United States was forced into the war. The war would end in 1945 with the detonations of the first and last atomic bombs in warfare. In 1950, the United States became involved in the Korean War. George Stricker, not wanting to be involved in a military conflict, enrolled in graduate school so that he would not be drafted. He later joined the Air Force, but did not see action in Korea. My grandmother, Raleen Stricker, also really enjoyed the television show MASH. Over 10 years later, in Dallas, Texas, President Kennedy was riding a motorcade when he was fatally shot in the head. It was, in the opinion of George Stricker, the single most important event in the 20th century. The vice president at the time, Lyndon Baines Johnson, immediately assumed the office of president and was re-elected in 1964. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act, but also escalated the Vietnam War. Succeeding Johnson was Richard Nixon, who, in 1974, after the scandal of Watergate, resigned the presidency, although he did protest until his death that he was innocent. Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. T-15 seconds. T-10, 9, 8, Seven, six. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. In January of 1986, 73 seconds into launch, the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded and broke up, killing all seven crew members. The event was a national tragedy. 
The explosion led to a 32-month suspension of all space shuttle missions and the creation of the hand-picked Rogers Commission. The commission found serious problems in NASA's organizational structure and decision-making policies. The disaster left an indelible mark on the collective memory of the American people, including my family. On December 25, 1991, President Bush addressed the nation. For over 40 years, the United States led the West in the struggle against communism and the threat it posed to our most precious values. This struggle shaped the lives of all Americans. It forced all nations to live under the specter of nuclear destruction. That confrontation is now over. That night, the Soviet flag was lowered for the last time, and the USSR was dissolved.